at Silver Reef uh, Casino in Ferndale. I decided to move from Walmart last night because they were the only ones there and it just seemed really sketchy. Um, I called around to a couple different places. There was a casino up near Sumas, uh, but they were going to close in 30 minutes and you had to go inside and register. But it was $7 a night, if you remember, and it was free to be a member. You just signed up like a Safeway card or whatever. So you would also get electricity and maybe I don't know, but I, I thought it was a really good deal. Um, I'll post the name of that place in the, um, in the, in the description. It, they were really sweet. Um, but then, so I wouldn't be able to make it there. So I called Silver Reef and they were super amazing. They were like, we have floodlights, there's security. Cause I told them I just wasn't feeling very safe where I was at. And they're like, we have plenty of room. There was like 20 other RVs here. It was wonderful. There's a dump here. There's grass to walk the dogs. Um, it just feels really nice. Except I woke up for... Uh, I'm so flustered. Like, I mean, look at what's going on here. It's clear that I had a rough morning. Um, <clears throat> I woke up to uh, fireworks. I mean, it, 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 it was like the loudest explosion, but you could hear the boo. And then like the crackling of the, you know, the firework. And it was just so loud to wake up to at 6.30 in the morning. It's 8 o'clock right now. Um, but I'm awake and I'll get an early start, I guess. And today's the day that we cross the border, I hope. Um, this is my super cool hipster letter board. With a John Muir quote, which is like essential if you're an RVer. You have to have a John Muir quote somewhere. No, but on all seriousness, I, I really love John Muir and uh, couldn't think of a, a better quote to put up there. Anyway, we're hitting the road. It's been a while since we've, you know, traveled like a real long time. Uh, what was I talking about? We were traveling. Oh! We're gonna cross the border today, guys. We can take showers now, cause there's a dump. <laughs> no electricity though, which is kind of sad. Why do we get to take a shower? Like, what's so exciting about taking a shower? Uh, we get to take a longer shower than normal because we're gonna dump today. Oh, we get to take a longer shower. Cause we're gonna do the dump today. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna explore. Yeah. Can I do that? Do oh, wait, there's ticks around here, isn't there? I don't know. Maybe you should put tick spray all over me. There's ticks everywhere. Except for my eyes. <laughs> yeah. And we've gotta get propane and gas. This is probably cheaper here than it is gonna be in Canada. It's cheaper here than it's gonna be in Canada. You look like you need some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, we are leaving uh, Silver Reef Casino. It's been a great stay. We just dumped. We just did gray water because um, our black isn't full yet. And we're heading up to the border. And oh, if you want to dump here, they have a dump. Um, they don't have fresh water, so you have to find fresh water somewhere else. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go to the Super Duper and get uh, propane and gas, which is right up in Sumas, which is just before the border crossing. Um, and we'll see you in Canada. Best your luck at our table game. Hundred dollars even. Okay, we're at the Super Duper in Samas and we're about to cross over. I forgot to fill up our, our two five gallon uh, gas cans back in 
Ferndale, so I filled them up here. It's three thirty-one a gallon, or uh, it looks like eighty-nine cents a liter, which is pretty good. Oh, I also filled up with fresh water here because they didn't have fresh water at the casino, so we got fresh water here, which was really nice. And Tallulah's walking the dogs over there, and then we'll be on the road. A little bit of a line here at the border, but I think it's gonna go pretty fast. Where are we going? Canada. Did we talk to you about that, guys? Yeah, I just found out my GPS doesn't have any Canadian maps on it. So, you have to get a GPS. I don't know what to do. I'll figure it out. Here we go. All right, we're in Canada. Going through uh, the border. They asked us if we had any firearms. No. Um, alcohol. I have like a little single serve wine fresh fruit or vegetables. I had one avocado. They asked why we're here and we just said we're on a, a trip, a little vacation, and they wanted to know like what we're going to be doing and where we're going. They asked if we had cash. I said no. <laughs> I just have plastic money. They actually approached us when we were still in line. There was three of them just asking some questions and then when we got up to the booth he asked us the same questions and asked for our passports at that time and the birth certificate and then they pulled us aside for a secondary inspection I guess is what it's called. They had us take all the dogs and put them in a crate next to the I guess it's a Canadian border patrol building um, so there's a crate and they're like please put your dogs in there give us the keys you know, leave everything behind, your phone, you know, don't take anything. And they just asked, you know, is there any uh, firearms or any sharp objects, needles or whatever in the RV? And I said, no. And so we got all the dogs together and went and sat. They were in there for an hour. There was four of them, four Border Patrol agents. I don't know if they took a dog in or not, but I could kind of see the left side of the RV from inside the building and I did see them uh, going through my jewelry making kit, which had uh, my resin making equipment and it had like, you know, tools for Fimo clay, little exacto knives and stuff. I saw them going, like opening up the hood and the compartments on the outside. It was a long wait and I was just like trying to figure out, you know, if there was anything that, I don't know, could come up and I couldn't think of anything. They were really nice. They came back and they they said, you're all good to go. They said, just just curious, why do you have a safe? Um, and I said, oh, well, that's where I keep my passports and her birth certificate. And it's more for fire, you know, proofing than anything. So if, you know, there's a fire that those documents are safe. And they're like, oh, because normally people have those for firearms. And I was like, nah, not me. They let us go. And we're here at Walmart. Um, as soon as I crossed over the border, my GPS quit working. It wants me to go back to the United States. It's kind of funny, I'll show you. So, let's see if you can see. My car is just in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, um, I'm trying to figure out how to get, I, I might just have to buy a new, new GPS and I, I've been wanting to get one that's like RV specific. So maybe that's what's gonna happen. I wanted to make it to Williams Lake tonight, but it's uh, 547 and Williams Lake is like a five and a half hour drive from here. The other thing that we're having to deal with is I called my bank today to let them know that I was going into Canada. I had already filled out the paperwork. I just didn't put a date down and they were like, that's fine. Just call us when you're gonna go into Canada. So that's what I did. And they said, well, we have to have a return date on there. And I was like, I have no idea uh, when that's going to happen because, you know, we're just kind of going, you know, we're just playing it day to day. Like, it's not, we don't really have a plan except for that we have to be back um, in Hood River around September 1st because um, she starts school. And I said, and we're also going to be going back into the States when we go into Alaska and then back into Canada. 
and then into Canada and back into the United States, into Washington. And they were like, we cannot put the travel hold on your cards unless you have exact dates. So I can't use my card. And they were, they were like, well, we'll, I'm going to talk to somebody about it and we'll give you a call back. And they were calling me when the border agents were telling me to get out of my vehicle. So they left a message and basically the message was call us back and they're closed now. They close at five. Um, so we're here for the night, I guess. And, um, there's no overnight parking signs posted, but all state state says that it's, you know, I'm going to ask and just keep my fingers crossed that they'll let us stay and then just regroup tomorrow and hopefully make it to Williams Lake. We've got to start making some headway north. We're really lagging behind. So anyway, talk to you later. They did a really good job putting everything away and not leaving a mess, but this was sitting out here on the stove. This is for my resin jewelry, by the way. And it came from that toolbox right there because that's where I keep all my resin jewelry making supplies. So I think it's just kind of funny that that's the only thing that was out of place. Hmm. Okay, we were at Walmart in Abbotsford and the thing that I immediately noticed is that all the prints are like tropical flowers. I mean, everything is like some kind of flower or it's crazy. And it's a way better selection than any of the Walmarts I've ever been to. And look at this, so cute in the States. Look at all those patterns. This is rad. Their signage is red and yellow instead of blue and yellow. Look at these. They're so pretty. Whoa. Aren't they pretty? Are those roses? I think so. Maybe like a tea rose. Pretty. Yeah. Pretty. Yep. Okay, let's walk these puppers. Such a good boy. <laughs> what? We got microwave meals to celebrate the startup of our generator, our new generator for the first time, and we could use the microwave, and it's amazing. And we're so happy. Huh. A guy helped me. A yes. Guy helped us. Dave and Erla, because we could not figure out how the heck. To, we got the generator on, but we weren't getting any power, and there was a switch on the generator that needed to be flipped over, and Dave and Erla from Alberta were amazing. They're heading over to the coast to go fishing. They're right. That's their rig right, right there, and they were so sweet. Dave's from Ireland, and he has the cutest Irish accent I've ever heard mixed with Canadian. Anyway, we're feeling pretty happy and pretty lucky, and... Kind of on cloud nine right now, huh? I love you. <laughs> Food. We're settled in for the night. Um, we don't have much more to tell. Um, everything will be in clips in the video, so that's kind of nice. We don't have to have a big story time. So what we're gonna do is one of Tallulah's favorite thing, and that's a taste test. So first off, we have ketchup potato chips. They're very popular in Canada. They're everywhere. Okay. Here's for you. I'm not like a huge ketchup fan either, so ready? Cheers. No. No. What? Oh, they're so salty and vinegary. I guess if you like salt and vinegar chips, you would probably like that. Oh. No. I'm glad yeah. we got the small bag, Tula. Okay, next up, 
is Smarties, which are not, contrary to popular belief, the um, Canadian version of M&M's. They actually have a thicker candy shell, and there's M&M's here anyway. So here's Smarties. Just try to get the, the smallest amount that we possibly could. This is like a multi-pack of different things. So let's try these. They look like M&M's. They are. They're not M&M's. They're a little bit flatter and wider. It's hard to tell, but ready? Cheers. You know, I actually like the chocolate inside these better. It's a little bit more like the Cadbury chocolate. Yum. Okay, next up is a coffee crisp, which I know we don't have in the States. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's like coffee. What? Tastes like coffee. Tastes like a coffee, like a combination between a Kit Kat and one of those like wafers. You know, they come in strawberry and vanilla and chocolate, those wafer, cream wafer things. But coffee, it's pretty good. We used to come up here a lot when I was little. And one thing I remember is Arrow chocolate. It's essentially just chocolate with bubbles, air bubbles air bubble pockets. Anyway, I chose the dark cherry truffle and Tallulah chose the mint. So they're a little like this. I'm going to break off just one little square. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you already use a little turd? Let's show them. Okay, so hers is mint. Oh, you already ate it. No, I didn't. Okay, cheers. It, it broke off like this. Okay. Oh. This tastes just like a cherry cordial. My grandma used to get those for me every Christmas. It tastes just like it. And what else? What else is in here? I think that's it. We don't really have much to report.